call upon Professor Steve Yearley, Professor of the Sociology of Scientific Knowledge, to present a candidate for an honorary degree. Mr. Vice-Chancellor, in the name and by the authority of the Senatus Academicus, I have the honor to present for the degree of Doctor of Science in Social Science, Professor Helga Novotny. We are, this year, celebrating 50 years of what we call science studies, in other words, of scientific reflection on the place of science in society, here at the University of Edinburgh. In this context, it is particularly fitting to be honoring Professor Novotny because she represents and embodies the same endeavor at a thoroughly European scale. Helga has made profound contributions to European social science both through her own scholarship and through practical research policies. Professor Novotny was born in Vienna at a pivotal time of the 20th century. She completed her education in Austria and the United States, worked first in academia in Austria, and then earned her second sociology doctorate from Columbia University in New York. Re returning to Europe, she began to elaborate distinctive work in the sociology of the sciences and also published pioneering insights into the sociology of time. The new sociology of science was growing rapidly in the 1980s, and Novotny quickly made a number of important contributions, particularly through a broadly European yearbook series. She co-edited several volumes, all linking studies of science and technology to broader sociological and societal concerns. For example, counter-movements in the sciences, and the 1984 yearbook on utopian and dystopian visions. This style of work, which contrasted with the tenor of the typical Edinburgh study at the time, led up to the highly ambitious and influential monograph, The New Production of Knowledge, which she co-authored in 1994. This book proposed that the entire research system was in the process of transformation moving from a situation where disciplinary scientists were funded to advance knowledge to a new mode in which changing constellations of researchers were brought together to undertake research for societal goals. Her work argued not simply that there was a sociology of science, but that the fundamental social contract between science and society was undergoing profound change. Professor Novotny was acutely aware that this diagnosis implied that European social institutions could help in fostering new relations between policymakers and funders and researchers. It seems inevitable, therefore, that she became a founding member of the European Research Council. In 2007, she became vice president and was president from 2010 through to 2013. Edinburgh scholars within and beyond science, technology, and innovation studies have derived great benefit from studying Professor Novotny's work and are strongly aware of the ERC's key support for research excellence and for European research integration. Mr. Vice-Chancellor, I invite you to confer the degree of Doctor of Science in Social Science to Professor Novotny in recognition of her contribution to sociology, to policy studies, and to the leadership and direction of European research policy. By the authority vested in me, I admit you to the degree. Dear Vice-Chancellor, honorary guests, colleagues, and friends, I'm very moved by this great honor that is bestowed upon me this day. 
I remember vividly the first time I came to Edinburgh. It must have been in 1971, I believe, I came up from Cambridge. And I came to that place that was called Science Study Unit, located under an address that nobody could pronounce who was not born in Scotland, namely Bakloich Place. <laughs> and this was the beginning of what became a very successful science studies unit that now is expanded across the university, tackling some of the most important societal challenges in close alignment with colleagues from the natural sciences, from the social sciences. I just would like to remind you that we live at a moment when facts are denied and delegitimized, when fake news can circulate without any barrier through the internet, and when experts have been declared to be superfluous. It is in such moments that the insights and the way how science, technology, and society studies, STS as it's called now, is more needed than ever. And I was also moved by the fact that the University of Edinburgh has been able to have more ESC grantees in STS, I believe, than any other place whom I will meet this afternoon. But above all, <clears throat> that the spirit of STS, analyzing, describing, how science implicates and impacts on society, but is in turn shaped by it. The voice of STS, and in a broader sense, the Scottish Enlightenment that left its mark on the history of Europe is needed more than ever. Thank you very much, and I wish you all the best. We need to work together to make either a new Enlightenment come, or otherwise, we may re-fall re back into darkness. Thank you.